The Role of Business Research, Chapter 1, Business Research Methods. After studying this chapter, we should be able to understand how research contributes to business success, know how to define business research, understand the difference between basic and applied business research, understand how research activities can be used to address business decision, know when business research should and should not be conducted, and appreciate the way that technology and internationalization are changing business research. ESPN. To many people, the abbreviation ESPN says it all when you are thinking about sport programming. <clears throat> the Entertainment and Sports Programming Network was launched in uh, 1979, and over time ESPN has become a media juggernaut, expanding its sport content and programming globally, and it's a media presence in every possible outlet, TV, video, and the internet. In fact, ESPN.com has long been one of the most visited sites on the World Wide Web. It is the passionate sport fans that make ESPN success possible. Over the years, information about the people who watch and interact with ESPN content had been slowly accumulating across different media outlets, and this information included not just web clicks and television viewership, but as well purchase from ESPN and its affiliate advertising partners. Since information is located in different databases across different operating units, it's sometimes difficult to know just who the fan was and what they were truly interested in. What could be done with this considerable business information? Could be ESPN be more knowledgeable and more profitable by learning more about the sports fan who used the content? So the answer was a resounding yes, and ESPN partners uh, with Quaero, a business research company that specializes in customer intelligence to integrate their numerous databases and begin to learn more about how fans use their media and what specifically they were looking for. They learned that enhancing the fan experience regarding of the media had a bottom line implication for their own revenue and the revenue of their advertiser. ESPN realized that based upon their customer research, cross-network promotions are individualized. Um, it was business research that made it possible gaining intelligence on a critical business function, a function that had global uh, implications and helped create a profitable solution for ESPN. So in the recent uh, history of um, ESPN demonstrates that the need for information in making informed decision addressing key issues faced by all competitive businesses. Research can provide that information, and without it, business decisions involving both taxic, tactics and strategies are made in the dark. Business research defined. Uh, business research covers a wide, wide range of uh, phenomena. For managers, the purpose of research is to provide knowledge regarding the organization, the market, the economy, and other area of uncertainty. A financial manager may ask, will the environment for long-term financing be better two years from now? A personnel manager may ask, what kind of training is necessary for production employees? Or what's the reason for the company's high employee turnover? A marketing manager may ask, how can I monitor my, real, my retail sales and retail trade activities? Each of these questions requires information about how the environment, employees, customer, or the economy will respond to executive decisions. Research is one of the principal tools for answering these practical questions. And business research is the application of a scientific method in searching for the truth about business phenomena. These activities include defining business opportunities and problems, generating and evaluating alternative course of action, and monitoring employees and organizational performance. Business research is more than conducting surveys. This process includes idea and theory development, business definition, searching for and collecting information, analyzing data, and communicating the findings and their implication. The definition suggests that business research information is not intuitive or um, hazardly gathered. Literally, research uh, means to search again. 
The term connotes patient study and scientific investigation, wherein the researchers take another more careful look at the data to discover all that is known about the subject. Finally, all findings are tied back to the underlying theory. The definition as well emphasized through references to the scientific methods that any information gathered through the accurate uh, gather should be accurate and objective. Um, the research isn't performed to support preconceived ideas, but to test them. The researcher must be personally detached and free of bias in attempting to find the truth. If bias enters into the research process, the value of the research is considerably reduced. Our definition makes it clear that business research is designed to facilitate the managerial decision process for all aspects of the business, finance, marketing, HR, and so on. Business research is an essential tool for management in virtually all problem-solving and decision-making activities. By providing the necessary information on which to base business decision, research can decrease the risk of making a wrong decision in each area. It's important to note that research is an aid to managerial decision-making, never a substitute for it. Um, the definition of business research is limited by one definition of business. Certainly, uh, research regarding production, finance, marketing, and management in for-profit corporations. However, business research as well includes effort that assists non-profit organizations as well. Applied and basic business research, one useful way to describe research is based on the specificity of its purpose. Applied business research is conducted to address a specific business decision um, for a specific firm or an organization. At the opening um, example, describe a situation where ESPN used to apply research to, desi to decide how to best create knowledge of its sport fans and their performance. Um, basic business research, sometimes um, referred to as pure research, is conducted without a specific decision in mind, and it usually does not address the needs of a specific organization. In attempts to expand the limits of knowledge in general, and as such is not aimed at solving a particular pragmatic problem. Basic research can be used to test validity of a general business theory, one that applies to all businesses, or to learn more about a particular business phenomenon. Um, how can managers best encourage workers to dedicate themselves toward the organization's goal? From such research, we can learn that factors that are most important to workers and how to create an environment where employees are most highly motivated. This basic research does not examine the problem from any single organization perspective, but they just study a specific organization, Starbucks or DuPont or uh, Sony. While the distinction between basic and applied is useful in describing research, there are very few aspects of research that apply only uh, to basic or only to applied research. Uh, and we will use the term business research more generally to refer to either type of research. Uh, the focus is more on applied research in this course and studies that are undertaken to answer questions about specific problem or to make decisions about particular courses of actions or policies. Applied research is emphasized in this uh, course because uh, most students will be oriented toward the day-to-day -to -day practice of management and most students and researchers will be exposed to short-term problem-solving research conducted for businesses or non-profit organizations. The scientific method. All research, whether basic or applied, involve the scientific method. The scientific method is the way researchers go about using knowledge and evidence to research objectives conclusions about the real world. The scientific method is the same in social science, such as business, as in physical science, such as physics. In this case, it is the way we come to understand business phenomenon. Uh, in this um, exhibit, uh, 
we illustrate the scientific method. In the scientific method, there are multiple routes to developing ideas. When the ideas can be stated in researchable terms, we reach the hypothesis stage. The next steps involve testing the hypothesis again against empirical evidence, facts from observation or experimentation. The results either support the hypothesis or do not support the hypothesis. And from these results, new knowledge is generated. In basic research, testing these prior conceptions or hypotheses and then making inferences and conclusions about the phenomena leads to the establishment of general law about the phenomena. Use of the scientific methods in applied research ensures objectivity in gathering facts and testing creative ideas for alternative business strategies. The essence of research, whether basic or applied, lies in the scientific method. The techniques of basics and applied research differ largely in degree rather than in substance. Managerial value of business research. Um, in all of business strategy, there are only a few business orientations. A firm can be product-oriented. A product-oriented firm prioritizes decision-making in a way that emphasizes technical superiority of the product. So research that gathers information from technicians and experts in the field is very important in making critical decision. A firm can be product-oriented. A product-oriented firm prioritizes the efficiency, um, production-oriented, sorry, uh, the efficiency and effectiveness of production process in making decisions. And here the research providing input from workers, engineer, finance and accounting becomes important as the firm seeks to drive costs down. Production-oriented firms are usually very large for manufacturing products in very large quantities. And the third approach, the third orientation, is marketing-oriented, which focuses more on how the firm provides value to customer than on the physical product or production process. With the marketing-oriented organization, the majority of research focus on the customer. Research addressing consumers' desires, beliefs, and attitude becomes essential. The prime managerial value of business research is that it provides information that improves the decision-making process. The decision-making process associated with the development and implementation of a business strategy involves four interrelated stages. Identifying problems or opportunities. Before any strategy can be developed, an organization must determine where it wants to go and how it will get there. Business research can help managers plan strategies by determining the nature of situations or by identifying the existence of problems or opportunities present in the organization. Business research may be used as a scanning activity to provide information about what is occurring uh, within an organization or in its environment. The mere description of some social or economic activity may familiarize managers with organizational and environmental occurrences and help them understand the situation. Second, diagnosing and assessing problems and opportunities. After an organization recognizes a problem or identifies a potential opportunity, business research can help clarify the situation. Managers need to gain insight about the underlying factors causing the situation. If there's a problem, they need to specify what happens and why. If an opportunity exists, they may need to explore, refine, and quantify the opportunity. If multiple opportunities exist, research may be conducted to set priorities. Third one, selecting and implementing a course of action. After the alternative course of action have been clearly identified, business research is often conducted to obtain specific information that will help in evaluating the alternatives and selecting the best course of action. Um, business research can be designed to gather the relevant information uh, necessary to determine which, if either course of the action, is best for the organization. Opportunities may be evaluated through the use of various performance criteria. Um, of course, uh, complete accuracy in forecasting the future is not possible because change is constantly occurring in the business environment. 
Nevertheless, objective information generated by business research to forecast environmental occurrences may be the foundation for selecting a particular course of action. Uh, even the best plan is likely to fail if it's not properly implemented. Business research may be conducted to indicate the specific tactics required to implement a course of action. And fourth one, evaluating the course of action. After a course of action has been implemented, business research may serve as a tool to tell managers whether or not planned activities were properly executed and if they accomplished what they were expected to accomplish. In other words, managers may use evaluation research to provide feedback for evaluation and control of strategies and tactics. <clears throat> Evaluation research is the formal objective measurement and appraisal of the extent to which a given activity, project or program has achieved its objectives or whether continuing programs are presently performing as projected. Evaluation research may as well provide information about the major factors influencing the observed performance levels. Performance monitoring research is a specific type of evaluation research that regularly, perhaps routinely, provides feedback for the evaluation and control of recurring business activities. When is business research needed? The need to make intelligent, informed decision ultimately motivates an organization to engage in business research. Not every decision requires research. So when confronting a key decision, a manager must initially decide whether or not to conduct business research. Um, the determination of the need of, for a research center is on time constraint. Systematic research takes time, and in many instances, management believes that the decision must be made immediately, allowing no time for research. Decisions sometimes are made without adequate information or through understanding of the business situation. Although making decisions without researching a situation is not ideal, sometimes the urgency of a situation precludes the use of research. The urgency with which managers usually want to make decisions conflicts with researchers' desire for rigor in following the scientific method. The second one, availability of data. Often managers already possess enough data or information to make sound decisions without additional research. When they lack adequate information, however, research must be considered. This means that data needs to be collected from an appropriate source. If a potential source of data exists, managers will want to know how much it will cost to get the data. If the data cannot be obtained or it cannot be obtained in a timely fashion, this particular research project should not be conducted. The third one, nature of the decision. The value of the business research will depend on the nature of the managerial decision to be made. A routine tactical decision that does not require a substantial investment may not seem to warrant a substantial expenditure for research. Uh, the research cost of determining the proper wording to use um, in an updated manual, for example, is likely to be too high for such a minor decision. Um, that the nature of the decision is not totally independent of the next issue to be considered, the benefit versus the cost of the research. But in general, uh, the more strategically or tactically important the decision, the more likely is that the research will be conducted. So the fourth one, benefit versus cost. Uh, conducting research to obtain uh, the different benefits requires an expenditure of money. In any decision-making situations, managers must identify alternative courses of action and then weigh the value of each alternative against the cost. And business research can be thought of as an investment alternative. When deciding whether to make a decision without research or to postpone the decision in order to conduct research, managers should uh, ask these three questions. Will the payoff or rate of return be worth the investment? Will the information gained by business research improve the quality of the managerial decision enough to warrant the expenditure? 
and the third one is the proposed research expenditure the best use of the available funds harley davidson goes abroad before harley davidson goes overseas it must perform considerable research on a specific market it may find that the consumer in some countries such france or italy have a strong preference for more economical and practical motorbikes people may prefer a vespa um, other times they may find that consumers have a favorable attitude towards harley davidson and that it could be even a product view as prestigious uh, Harley recently considered doing business in India based on the trend showing uh, a booming economy and favorable consumer opinion and the booming economy were insufficient to justify distributing Harleys in India. The problem? Luxury imports would be subject to very high duties that would make them cost prohibitive to nearly all Indian consumers and India had strict emission rules for motorbikes. So, although research on the market was largely positive, Harley research on the political operating environment eventually determined its decision. Another, another um, example is business class success. Um, if you ever checked the price of a business class airfare on flight overseas, you were probably surprised at the price. A discounted round-trip coach ticket from Atlanta to Paris in the peak season often costs just over $1,000. The same business class ticket would often cost between five and $10,000. These flights take place in larger passenger aircraft. Um, and however, by including uh, three dozen business class seats, the capacity drops to under 400 passengers. Um, uh, it, it's easy to see that a great deal of research must assess both the product design, what service and product attributes make up a business class experience, and pricing in both coach and business class to determine the best configuration of an aircraft. And research shows that business class traveler prioritize the comfort of the seat and the ability to be able to lie flat during the flight, the quality of food and the convenience of boarding as attributes that makes up the business class experience. Um, could more effective business research have determined that these were not feasible business ventures? Depends. Research in the 21st century. Business research, like all business activities, continues to change. Changes in communication technology and the trend toward an even more global marketplace have played a large role in many of these changes. Um, virtually everyone is connected today. Increasingly many people are connected nearly all the time. Within the lifetime of a typical undergraduate college student, the way information is exchanged, stored and gathered has been revolutionized completely. The amount of information formally contained in an entire library can rest easily in a single personal computer. Uh, the speed with, in, with which information can be exchanged as well has increased tremendously. Uh, during the 70s, exchanging information overnight through a courier service from anywhere um, in, in, in the world uh, was kind of a miracle of the modern technology. But today, we can exchange information from nearly anywhere in the world to nearly anywhere in the world almost instantly. Internet connections are now wireless, so one doesn't have to be connected uh, to a wall to access the World Wide Web. Our mobile phones and uh, handheld data devices can be used not only to converse, but as well means of communication that can even involve business research data. Technology also has made it possible to store or collect data at a lower cost, um, at a lower cost than, uh, than ever. Changes in the computer technology have made for easier data collection and data analysis. Like all the business activities, business research has become increasingly global as more and more companies operate with few, if any, geographic boundaries. Some companies have extensive international research operations. 
uh, companies that conduct businesses in foreign countries must understand the nature of this particular market and judge whether they require customized business strategies. Um, even companies that produce brands that are icons in their own countries are now doing research internationally. Um, the internationalization of research places a greater demand on business research and uh, heightens the need for research tools that allow up to cross-validate research results, meaning that the empirical findings from one culture also exist and behave similarly in another culture. The development and application of these international research tools are an important topic in basic business research. The example with Jack Daniels, or Jack Daniels, sales in U.S. Uh, spirits have declined over the last years as more Americans turn to wine or beer. Um, so companies like uh, um, Bacardi, the producers of Jack Daniels and Brown Foreman, uh, have pursued business development strategies involving increased efforts to expand into international markets. The Brown Foreman budget for international ventures includes a significant allocation for research. Uh, by doing research before launching a product, they can learn product usage pattern within a particular culture. Uh, Japanese consumers use Jack Daniels as a dinner beverage. Uh, Australian consumers mostly consume distilled spirits in their homes. Uh, British uh, distilled spirits consumers also like mixed drinks, but they usually partake at bars and restaurants. And in China and India, consumers more often choose uh, counterfeit or knockoffs to save money. So innovative research approaches have addressed questions related to the way the black market works and how they can better educate consumers about the differences between the real thing and the knockoffs. So the result is that Jack Daniels is now sold extensively in various forms and with different promotional campaigns outside the United States as well. So... Um, this um, this was about um, uh, the business research. Yeah, the business research process is often presented as a linear sequential process with one specific step following another. But in reality, this is not the case. Uh, the time spent on each step varies. Overlaps between steps is common and some stages may be omitted. Occasionally, we need to backtrack and then to order some, uh, some changes. Uh, the structure for the research process is necessary. Thank you. Thank you so much.